Hi Curlies, it's Lana and we are here again with another episode of Clipping It with Jasmine. Hey guys. So excited. So today we're doing this pineapple look, girl. I love it. Can I tell you how much I love ponytail? Who doesn't like an awesome ponytail? I mean like, just to whip it. Just to like, whip it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw your neck out. Girl, I like, will. <laughs> I will. Okay. So, what do you tell me how you start this look? Okay, off. so um, both of the two strand twists that you see will all be my leave out. I'm um, actually left out the entire perimeter of my head. I started clipping with my longest set. I'm actually using two sets of curly clips in this video. Um, I started off with the four clip weft first, and I actually clipped one full set at a time. So I started with the four, like I said before, then the three, and then the two, and I'm actually using the, the reverse clipping method, um, one of the methods that you've actually used yeah, in the yeah, past. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. It's the same exact thing. Just basically, and the whole concept is, you clip it in the direction that you your ponytail is going. Exactly. Because so, like you don't want to pull up the hair and then the clips are lifting up too. Exactly. It, it actually, clipping it this way actually eliminates tension between your curly clips and your natural hair because you're not actually pulling the curly clips, if that makes sense. Yeah, and this is what it looks like in the back, so you can kind of see like what we're saying. Like everything is going in the same direction as it should, because we're making a ponytail, and you know, there's no tension. Okay, so in the front, like in the past video, clipping the four clip weft when you're doing the ponytail so that it lays extremely flat. And I actually use the four clip weft on the back as well, like I said before, so that it all lays flat once the ponytail is up. And that's just safest for your natural hair too. Exactly. We're really trying to minimize tension because the whole point is keeping your natural hair as beautiful and healthy as possible while rocking, you know, clip and extensions as a style. Exactly. So here I, I actually clip in a three clip weft and by doing that it helps me basically navigate where I'm going to put the rest of my two clip wefts and how many. And from the previous videos, you guys know I love, love, love big hair. So I'm going to add as many two clip wefts as possible to give myself that huge pineapple look. Yeah, and if you didn't want like a ponytail that's that thick, you would just use less, less clips. Yeah, less exactly. clips. So you're in complete control. Exactly. And is there any sort of like science to the way you're clipping these two clip wefts? Um, it's just, it depends on how high you want your ponytail. Like if you literally want it to sit like at the top of your head, then majority of your clips are gonna be clipped in the reverse clip method. Right. Um, if you want it a little bit back, then um, some of those clips will actually be clipped in regularly, like you would regularly clip in Girl, that is your a hair. good tip. That is a good tip. It's, look, these tips are fundamental, man. Like, you have to, <laughs> you have <laughs> to do these things in order to achieve the look that you want. Um, whether it's ponytails or, you know, just the regular, hairstyle yeah and Jasmine has been a customer for years now so if there is an expert at clipping in these curly clips it is her like she far outstyles me <laughs> you in definitely, the hair game you definitely have to take your time into getting to know your clips you know learning what styles work for you what styles you like and mastering it basically and you can only do that with practice yeah practice makes perfect Trust me, I have not always been this good at clipping these clips in. Now listen, like, does it ever hurt? They do not hurt because of the, the braids. Um, like I said previously, it helps eliminate the tension between my scalp and my curly clips. So all of this is painless. Okay, and you know, if you are ever experiencing any hurting, just unclip it and yeah. clip it so that it doesn't. Major majority of the time, you're probably just clipping them wrong. Yeah. So um, take them out and try again. And you see why I use the four clip wefts going around the entire perimeter because it lays down so flat and So seamlessly. smart. Like you can't even tell that there are all these clips in your head. Exactly. Like, I mean, genius. Absolutely genius. Clipping the longer wefts around the perimeter. Like I said, it takes time to, to learn these clips. <laughs> but you got <laughs> it. You got it. 
And so you just left your leave out out now, yep, right? Yeah, entire preliminary, and now we're going to unravel those twists. Did you twist your hair with anything special? I flat twist my hair with Eco Styler like I do, um, you know, in all of my styling. I always use Eco Styler on dry hair. So you just have dry hair and you put dry Eco Styler hair on and top. I put my Eco Styler on. You just have to moisturize. Well, any natural hair individual knows to moisturize your hair every night. So that should be a given. But um, as far as anything else, I do not wet my hair. I flat twist my hair with Eco Styler. What do you moisturize with? Um, argan oil. Okay. Like pure argan oil? Mm hmm Like what brand? Um, organics. Oh, okay, cool. Organics. It's awesome. It's light. And it's just light. Like you don't even feel it in your hair. You don't need that much. You yeah. literally use like a dime. So do you put the organics in and then you put in the Eco Styler gel afterwards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that I'm only moisturizing my hair once because I don't want to moisturize it too much and have that overly product felt leave out. I am so guilty you know? of that. <laughs> I am so guilty. I think I'm done taking out the flat twist. And now it's time to like make that pineapple. Look at that. And if your hair is too short, to go up into the pineapple without any um, bobby pins or anything like that. Just bobby pin the hair where you want it and you can also achieve this pineapple look even if you have shorter natural hair. Yeah, it just takes some bobby pins, y'all. Bobby pins it. are your best friend. I mean, bobby pins are your best friend. What natural hair girl doesn't know that by now though? There might be some, but, hey, but listen, there's some people that are new to this. Listen. If they don't use bobby pins, it's because I bought all of them. <laughs> I own all the bobby pins. Yes, if your hair is too short, bobby pin it. And this is a very loose pineapple. I only wrap the... Um, elastic. The, yeah, the elastic around once. Um, because, you know, less tension, basically. I'm not really pulling my natural hair. And, and that's it's key. Effortless. Yeah, yeah, you're just trying to keep your own natural hair healthy, so you're only putting in once. And just, yeah. you know, being smart with it, basically. Yeah, and if you're going to protect the style, you have to do it right. That's right. And look how <laughs> look how flawless that looks. Look how, look, it just looks so, where are the clips? Where are the clips? Are there any? Girl, no. Are there any? I don't, Bye. I don't think so. I don't think anybody else knows. You just know. <laughs> Shh. Don't be telling nobody. I actually tell everybody. <laughs> and Lana's dancing again. Uh. <laughs> I think that's what I do for all the videos. I just stand behind the camera, push record, and like do it. I've been doing it. Anyway, that's it. It looks super, super cute. And as always, you can do this with the My Spirals collection too. You use the same exact techniques, you know? And that's yeah. it. It's so easy, guys. Just watch the tutorials and, and do what you can. Perfect for a hot day or a day uh, when yes. you just need to whip that ponytail, girl. Okay, well, that's <laughs> it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.